What's up, guys? Nothing like a Q&A to fill the void while waiting for the heat game to start. We are, uh, at this exact point, like two and a half hours away. So, let's do a Q&A. And here you go, Chase Oliver. Chase Oliver 68. Too many LeBron shirts. Oh, it's it's a home game today. It's a Wade game today. But yeah, but this is Q&A 26. But before I start, I want to ask you guys a question. Um, it's obvious that... I missed a lot of wrestling. It's no secret that I quit watching for a very long time. So my question to all you guys is, from about 2004, to, is about when The Rock left is when I stopped, about 2004, in between, uh, I guess, 2010, I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff, I mean, I've rewatched stuff now, like, I've seen... Uh, under, you know, so don't Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, I know, 25, I know. I've seen all of 26. So in between that time frame, what is one, and if I've already watched it, I'll tell you, because it's not like I've not seen anything from that time period. But if there's one match, your favorite match you can think of in between that time frame, like 04 to like 2010 or 9 area, because I started watching back with about Money in the Bank 2010. In between there, what is your favorite match that you think I should watch, and I will find it and watch it? All right? So do that right now. Type it away. All right, good. Let's jump into this. Oh, and go. you can still go vote for your favorite Seamus comment for on the old Raw Review for tomorrow's Raw Review, where we will say the three best ones, Shooting Star Chaser. Um, the first two questions are from Jonathan Mann. What are your thoughts on the Illuminati? You don't have enough time for me to get into that. You don't have enough time for me to get into that. Maybe someday. I'll have Jake. Jake's Jake's funny to talk to about that. Um, do you think Rey Mysterio would have been world champion if Eddie Guerrero didn't pass away? I honestly don't think so. And this is like why it ties in. Everyone asks why I don't like Rey Mysterio. It's just like, I don't know. He just doesn't fit. This is what. I mean, it's a question later. I'll still say the person that asked it, but. I think later on, there's a, why don't you like Rey Mysterio? It's just stuff like Rey Mysterio and World Heavyweight Champion are not really things that mix. You know what I mean? So that always bugged me that he was like beating guys like Kane and wrestling guys like Taker and all these huge guys. And he was just like, that's not believable at all. But I honestly don't think he would have been, at least not for a while. I'm sure they always give the guys the one last little run or whatever if they've you know, been there for a while, so maybe eventually, but definitely not as soon as it did. Shooting Star Chaser. If The Rock, Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, and John Cena formed a stable in their primes, what heel team could match that epicness? Uh, jeez. Well, The Rock, Stone Cold, Hogan, and Cena. Uh, probably a heel... Triple H, a heel Undertaker, uh, a heel Ultimate Warrior, and a heel Randall Keith Orton. Yeah, that's the, that's the only hope you've got in matching the greatness that is that team. It still would, but I'm just saying that's as close as you can get. Um, if you could have any dream match with any past and present superstar in WWE, who would it be and what would the stipulation be? Uh... Wait, wait a minute. If you could have any dream match with any past and present superstar, so is it like, I think I don't know if you're trying to say me against some guys or just two guys I want to see wrestle, but I want to see Rock Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania is what I want to see, and the stipulation would be loser shaves his head. All right, moving on. Will Ferrell number one. Did you ever like Eric Bischoff and Paul Heyman? Paul Heyman, definitely. Eric Bischoff, not as much, but I did. Um, I'm a Paul Heyman guy. You know what I'm saying? You know who else was a Paul Heyman guy? Brock Lesnar. And he split just like I'm split. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I was a big Paul Heyman guy. So I was very happy to see him on Raw the other day. So let's hope the game doesn't kill all the momentum of Brock Lesnar. And with Michael Cole turning into a neutral commentator, do you think Jerry Lawler will return heel? Um... I honestly don't think so. I mean, everyone, I and I'm in this, I'm included in this. Everyone talks about how Jerry Lawler was such a good heel, and he was, but he couldn't be that kind of heel in today's age. Like, 
he couldn't be Attitude Era Jerry Lawler, where we all loved him. He was hilarious just because he was a dirty old man. He couldn't get away with saying any of that stuff today. So it's kind of counterproductive. It's like, sure, it'd be cool because, you know, you know, he we all remember in our heads how, like, you know, he was a lot better as a heel, but it wouldn't be the same nowadays, which is like most stuff. Orton Straight Brother, best one one TLC match. Woo. I think there's been, how many singles TLC matches have there been? Like four or five? Um. Oh, was was Undertaker Edge the one where Undertaker said I'm through all the tables? I think that was a. I'm yeah. I'm guessing that was a TLC match. So I'm gonna go with Undertaker Edge at uh. I want to say. Ooh, see this was in that in between area where I tried to catch up on stuff. I think it was at one night stand. Don't quote me. At least not on that. You can quote me other times because I'm a funny guy. But I think it's Edge Undertaker at one night stand. Call me crazy. Um, and if you were a manager, who would you manage and what would your gimmick be? Who would I want to manage? Hmm. Um, let's see. Who could I manage? Rock doesn't need a manager, so that's out. Um, I want to manage Cody Rhodes and just go out there and just talk crap. And my gimmick would be, man... What would my gimmick be if I was the manager of Cody Rhodes to try to lead him to glory? Um, huh, I don't know. I'd probably just wear one of Chris Jericho's jackets and you know just piss him off till we start a feud with Cody Rhodes and Chris Jericho. Realistically, um, Al Diesel 18 or Al Diesel. Whatever. What would be a botch you would love to see in the future? It can be inside or outside the ring. I would love that during the next Royal Rumble they accidentally play Chris Chris Benoit. I mean Wild Pegasus his theme. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious because the world would say this. What? What? Um, that, that's a pretty good one. I'm not gonna. I might stick with that one because that's. That, I don't know what the world would do if that actually happened. So I'm gonna go with that. That is a good time. Um, WWE G Bag 24. Could you see anyone caring about a Heath Slater, Michael McGillicuddy versus Justin Gabriel, Tyson Kidd feud for the tag titles? If so, how would you book the feud? Um, and is it possible for Sin Cara to come back and form a faction of Sin Caras? First with the second question. Lord, I hope so. It would be like the Power Rangers. We have regular Sin Cara, green Sin Cara, red Sin Cara, black Sin Cara, gold Sin Cara, silver Sin Cara, every Sin Cara. And they just call themselves the Power Rangers. Oh my gosh, that is the best news I've heard. Do you understand that? Yes. And they have, as long as they're called the Power Rangers. And Heath Slater, I don't think anyone will ever care about. Michael McGillicuddy, they're never going to care about unless he changes his name to let him know he's the son of the Hennig family. Um, Justin Gabriel, I think the people like. Tyson Kidd, people could, but they don't right now. Um, I don't know. I mean, to be completely honest, if I saw... Coming up at Night of Champions, Heath Slater, Michael Wilson versus Just Gabriel Tesky. I probably would not care at all. That's just me. So you guys answer this question in the comments below yourself. Would you care about that? I honestly probably would not at all. But you never know. Uh, Logan Manny, what are your three favorite stipulation matches? Hell in a Cell when it's booked right. Money in the Bank. And... Hmm. Oh man, there's a whole lot of stipulations. What would my favorite one be? Um, last man standing matches are pretty cool. I mean, I was a big advocate of buried alive matches until the Nexus helped Kane bury the Undertaker and confuse the world. Um, Hell in a Cell definitely, like I said, it's booked right. Not like the Hell in a Cell pay per view, more like Triple H Undertaker WrestleMania Hell in a Cell style. Uh, Money in the Bank and. TLC, Last Man Standing, I Quit. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. I really don't know the third one, to be completely honest. There's, it's a tie with all those. Ragwire773, why don't you like Rey Mysterio? Already talked about it. Yes! Yes! Moving on. But shout out to you for asking a question. Your question was so good, I answered it before we even got to it. Take that, you know. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, the Rossi Bossy, 1987. 
Who's your favorite person to watch in the whole YWC? And are you the biggest rock fan in the YWC? The second one, probably. I mean, I know how much I like The Rock. I don't know how much other people like The Rock, but someone would have to like The Rock a whole lot. I mean, just look at my cabinet over there. You got The Rock DVD, The Rock DVD, The Rock edition of WWE 12. You know, I got The Rock posted up on my wall over there. I got, like, every shirt he's come out with since, like, 1916. Uh, yeah, so... Probably. I mean, I'd like to think so, but you never know. I don't know everybody in the YWC. And favorite person to watch? Um, probably off the rope show. Schlegel. Schlegel's a smart dude. Uh, you know, he knows more. He's forgotten more about wrestling than I would ever aspire to know about wrestling. Like, he's just a smart dude to listen to. Like, he could post, like, 40-minute videos and like the whole time you're going to be entertained the whole time because he's just hilarious so i'd go with that i do watch a lot of other people you know i've already do i really have to say everybody i watch really i watch the wrestling gurus i used to watch joe the show but he left <sighs> chase oliver but he left wrestling guy on nine but he only talks about sports now tie 1822 doesn't make very much videos anymore uh british fist they're they're still doing it um I'm going to forget someone. People are going to freak out. Uh, uh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let, me go, let me go to my subscriptions here. If you want me to subscribe to you, then write me a letter. But I, I, maybe, I don't know. I don't subscribe to a ton of people. Oh, Marco Rose. Uh, definitely watch Marco Rose, the blackest man in all of YouTube. Um... Ace the Wrestling Nut, obviously. Uh, 420 Goonie. Uh, but he doesn't really make videos anymore. Denzel. If you guys know who Denzel is, Denzel uh, S27, I think. That's my dude right there. That's my dude right there. I used to watch J-Dub before I went Hollywood. Uh, Mr. Out. Uh, I'll watch Spinternet from time to time. Oh, gosh. Uh, Toby Os Boom Backwards. I'll watch his videos. Wrestling Jesus, whether you like it or hate him, you got to watch Wrestling Jesus videos for just because it's hilarious. And I think, let me look through my, oh, uh, Ankle Break AJ2. Uh, and that's all I can think of. I mean, that's a lot of people, but definitely Off the Rope Show would have to be towards the top. I think I said Wrestling Gurus, but yeah, I watched them. Um, uh, why do you hate RVD so much? Because he's the whole effing show. He's one of the coolest guys ever. He was my favorite who came to WWE out of the All the Invasion. I didn't say you couldn't like RVD. I just don't like RVD. A lot of people don't like The Rock. I don't care. Jake doesn't like The Rock. doesn't bother me any. He's just weird. And Booker T is okay, too. Booker T is a man. <laughs> Five-time Booker T. I'm just a Booker T. Booker T. Wolf Round number one again. Do you watch any of the TV shows on the USA Network? Just Monday Night Raw. And sometimes Big Daddy comes on with Adam Sandler uh, as a TV. <laughs> and two, what was your favorite moment in the Attitude Era? Oh, my gosh. You know how many moments there were in the Attitude Era? At least six. Thousand. Um, uh, uh, well, I guess all the Stone Cold stuff with Vince McMahon, that was hilarity ensuing. So I'm just going to go with the whole Austin McMahon feud. Um, Non-legit wrestling. Who do you think is the biggest pothead in wrestling between RVD, Evan Bourne, or Jeff Hardy? Jeff Hardy is definitely not the biggest pothead because Jeff Hardy's doing some harder stuff than pot. I'm going to go with RVD by a landslide. Because he's the whole episode. Um, and do you think Booker T is a funny commentator? I love... Booker T is a commentator. It's a dactyl. It's a dactyl. Shucky, ducky, quack, quack. Oh, he's getting caught up in the lights with the greatest of ease. I love Booker T as a commentator. I mean, man, that guy is my dude right there. Uh, Martin 37. Oh, just, okay, this one. Who do you think should be the next number one contender for the United States Intercontinental WWE and World Heavyweight Championship and why? P.S. You can't say The Rock. 
Okay, I won't then. Uh, and this is, um, I'm going to say this as if the champions were as they are right now. So, United States title, Santino versus... Um, United States title. Um, I want Alex Riley, but that would cost him to turn heel. But hey, if he gets on TV, that's fine. Heel Alex Riley, knocking out Santino and just destruction. Uh, Intercontinental. Um, definitely not the big show, how it is. Cody Rhodes against... Oh, that's hard. SmackDown is not feeling it. Um, maybe like a returning Ted DiBiase. And yes, I'm biased. I met T Ted DiBiase for like 20 minutes, and he's an awesome guy. WWE Championship. Um, CM Punk versus a returning Wade Barrett. But I want to save that for later. But I want to see CM Punk Wade Barrett at some point. And World Heavyweight Championship. Sheamus versus Randall Keithord. So he technically already is kind of, but that's that's what I'd like to see. Francis W22, do you have an Xbox Live and what games do you have? Technically, I have an Xbox Live account, but I already explained this to you on Skype. We moved to this new house, and there's not a internet jack close, so I have to buy one of the little adapter things on the back. Once I get that, I will do it. And my Xbox Live is... JPEG 03, I want to feel like. I feel like. I think so. I honestly haven't played Xbox Live in like six months, to be completely honest. And what games do you have? Uh, pretty much just WWE 12. Uh, I didn't get NBA 2K12. They need to come back out with NBA Live again. Um, you got your Call of Duties. You got your Halos. You know. What else is over there? Madden's. An old NCAA football. Yeah, I don't buy a lot of video games, but it happens. And if Dolph Ziggler was to win the World Heavyweight title or WWE title, who would you book it against, and what would the storyline be? Well, I love Dolph Ziggler. That's He is securely in the Fave 5. Uh, my beard is looking stout. Sorry for noticing. But um, Dolph Ziggler... I don't think he's ready to be – maybe he, he could be world champion because no one really cares about the world title. Um, I want to see Dolph Ziggler uh, to become world champion. What would the storyline be? Uh, I don't know. I just want him to like step up to Sheamus, like be the – be the heel that everyone cheers, kind of like how Daniel Bryan was, like leave Vicky and Swagger and just say he wants to do it on his own. So he's still a heel technically, but the people cheer him. And then he goes and ends up beating Sheamus at some point because I want to see Sheamus lose because he'll fight him, fella. Uh, oh, WWE G-Bag 24 again. If WWE signed you, what would your gimmick, theme, finisher, and who would you start a feud with? Well, I would start a feud with John Cena because he's the top guy, and I'm trying to get over as a top heel in the company straight out the shoot. My finisher. Oh. Oh, I said this before, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I still say my gimmick. I want to be the smart mark that goes out there as the heel and uh, explains that I'm going to lose here, but it's good for business, you know, because you got to build the baby face up. I just want to just say stuff like that and just piss everybody off. Um, my theme song would be Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen or Boyfriend by Justin Bieber because that's going to get booed. You know, he'll eat. And my finisher would be the finger poke of doom. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, finisher. <clears throat> I don't know. What would, a, what would a smart marks finisher be? I would just tell him logic so much it just fell over. Uh, CK Randall 74. <clears throat> Who do you most want to help a oh, to, for AW to help out? See, that's a, that's a tough thing because I want Dolph Ziggler to be a part of something bigger than what he is. But at the same time, I think he could do it on his own. Uh a W. I like what he's doing now, Mason Ryan. See, I I don't know. I don't see it's maybe I want Dolph Ziggler in there just because A W is the man. I want Alex Riley. Uh yeah, there's a couple guys. 
Which WrestleMania logo is your favorite? Oof. Well, there's been 28. Um, I really liked... Was it 13? With the fire or something? Was that 13? I'm not even scared. Hold on, I'm going to check. Yeah, I've got the WrestleMania anthology that opens up 68 times. Yeah, it was 13. I liked 13 and 14, but this one right here. You see that? Yeah, that one right there. Definitely one of my favorite ones. And uh, I'm always going to like WrestleMania 28s because I was there, but 13 is my favorite old one, probably. Would you rather go see a Raw live or a SmackDown live because it's cheaper? Definitely Raw. I don't really care too much for SmackDown except for my boy RKO um, and Cody Rhodes, I guess. But I'd much rather see Raw because WWE cares more about Raw, so it would be a better show. Plus, you got Cena there, Punk's there, all the guys from SmackDown are there. I, it just, I'd much rather see Raw than SmackDown. Would you prefer the brand split to end completely or for it to go back to strictly only Raw guys appearing on Raw, same with SmackDown? That's what they got to figure out because they're like in between. They don't really know what they want to do. Okay, call me crazy, but what I would have done, honestly, is if they were going to have a super show, wouldn't you rather have a SmackDown super show? Because Raw is Raw. It's going to get ratings. It has Cena, Punk, the top guys. So I guess I guess their idea was by bringing SmackDown guys over, it would get them exposure so it makes people want to watch SmackDown. That's not really the case. I mean, if you want SmackDown, I mean, sure, it's not going to help the SmackDown guys as much, but, you know, put Cena on Smack, bring some of the Raw guys over every now and then. Have them have matches with SmackDown guys if you're going to do some sort of super show. I thought that made more sense, but I guess not. And last question of this Q&A, same person, CK Round. Favorite breakfast cereals? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Listen to me. Cinnamon Toast Crunch for the win. Uh, Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs, but... But listen to me. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is where I live my life. People say, do the cinnamon challenge. I'll do the cinnamon toast crunch challenge every day. Every single day. But that's it from this Q&A. So again, tell me which match I need to watch. And I will. Subscribe up above. Like this video. Leave your comments below. Go Heat. Trying to beat the Pacers today. Let's hope it goes well. See you tomorrow for Raw. Salute.